Hi, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to set up uh, Monero node uh, and also uh, a P2P pool node uh, and uh, using that node to mine uh, with XMRig uh, all of this using Docker. Um, so I'm going to start with a with a script uh, with a the bash scripts that 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 uh, are going to make this all possible. Uh, so this is my server. I'm running uh, currently. I'm running Monero, uh, a Monero node here um, with Docker. So I'm gonna cat the the deploy script. I'm gonna explain uh, each parameter and what it all does so uh, this is a normal run command with docker the slash needs to run in the background uh, the slash restart is the restart policy so the container the container is gonna run unless it's stopped by the user this is the name of the container monero d uh, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, user root. I tried to use um, uh, this container um, without root, and uh, the file permissions. The container was a starting, so I know this isn't really a good practice, but um, currently I haven't found any problems with it. Uh, here are my ports that I mapped. Uh, for this container we only need to map this port. Uh, the reason I'm mapping all of these ports is that, that, that I'm using these ports on, on the other services. So um, I'm using the network of this container on the other services so I need to map the ports that I'm going to use on the other services on this on this Docker container. So, and as you can see here, this is the really the port that I need to map on this container. And these two ports, uh, as you can see here, connect to the node lo locally. Basically, if I need to, to use my wallet with, um, for example, Monero key, I can use this port and the local IP of the um, of the of the node, and this is for uh, the the P two P two P pool nodes to connect to the network. Um, to connect to the network. So um, let's go ahead. I map this as volume. Uh, volume. I map the volume uh, on my. This is my hard drive, um, and this is the the user and where the blockchain is going to be located inside the container. Um, and this is the the Docker the Docker image that I use. And these are, are some of the parameters uh, that I used. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna um, leave all the, this in the description of the video, uh, so you can paste. Uh, but I'm explaining here, so you can alter, change the things if you want for some reason. So this is the first service you wa you would want to deploy. The next one is the P2 pool. Sorry, this is the directory. P2 pool deploy. Here it is. For a better visualization. Okay, uh, so the slash is the same thing as the other, the name, the, the user. This is the, the thing I was talking about earlier. Slash slash net and container monero, monero D. 
I'm using the uh, network of the other container so I need to map the ports there, not here so he, on the next containers you won't see any port mapping because I'm using the network of the other container the restart policy and the volumes um, I'm basically uh, using this directory and uh, using a p to pool to pull directory and creating uh, two folders inside of this directory and mapping to the the ones inside the, the container uh, this is the image and these are the the parameters I need to blur this out shit but, um, but let's get on with it um, these are the parameters that um, I'll use that I used, sorry um, so host it's basically uh, it's basically the, the Monero uh, the node that the P2 pool the Monero node that the P2 pool will connect to you can if I'm not, I'm running my 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 notes here in my machine but uh, the, syn the synchronization for the note takes a long time but a really long time uh, for me it's like it's at 77% and it's running what f 6 days now so it takes a really long time um, that's all good uh, here is the port so here you put your wallet your uh, wallet address this needs to be um, sorry, need, this needs to be uh, the primary address you can't put addresses uh, with starting with an 8 here it has to start with a 4 um, and I'll recommend for you to use uh, a unique wallet only to mine on P2Pool because the address of this wallet is public uh, that people can see on P2Pool Observer because it's a P P2P network so it's public and people can see your your, um, your wallet address so uh, here is the port that I will connect to the miner uh, mini to, uh, to mine on the mini P2P pool light mode to use less RAM uh, and here is the port to connect to the P2P pool network um, ah. I was explaining this earlier. This might be a bit confusing, uh, but as I was saying earlier, this is the the Monero node that the P to pool, in this case the container, will connect to get the blockchain. Um, I'm using uh, this node here, not my local node, because it's still syncing and as I said earlier, this takes a really long time so, as I said, I'm gonna leave all this in the description of the video let's proceed now to the XM rig this is the software that will effecti effectively mine um, the, the Monero so here's the simpler so we have sudo docker run slash d to run in the background slash slash privileged this has to be privileged because um, because it, uh, if you run without the privileged argument you will see uh, on the on the log of the, the program you will see uh, something along these lines 
the hash rate uh, will be low because you cannot apply MSR uh, modules something along those lines so you need this tag right here um, I recommend you to leave net not as the container but as host I will explain this um, a bit later in the video and this is the, the volume uh, needed to to apply the MSR modules that I talked about earlier uh, here it's basically the um, the um, the address of the machine that's running P2P pool node and the um, the port slash k to keep alive CPU priority uh, it's basically I want my machine uh, that's running this this mining miner software to prioritize other processes instead of the mining process so if something comes up uh, that's more important than the mining the, uh, the, the CPU will be taken by that process and uh, leave the mining uh, leave the mining with a lower priority basically and the threads on my on my system uh, this system right, that I have right here has a total of 12 threads and I'm using six, so half half of the available threads. Okay, uh, I have I have explained all the the parameters. If you have any doubts, you can leave it in uh, the description. Now I'm gonna show you the logs. Um, so you have to be uh, the logs on your machine. Ah, I uh, forgot to say something. Uh, so, I was saying the net. Ah, uh, uh, you have to do another thing. Cat Etsy. This uh, the miner software. It's gonna use. Uh, the miner software has a, a something called huge pages. It's very important for for the miner. Um, and can increase your hash rate from 30 to 50 percent so it's a big increase you want this to be enabled at all times so let me see system CTL off you will need this right here you will need to basically echo I'm gonna leave also this in the description echo this command to to basically to add another line to add c sys ctl.com I'm gonna I'm not going to run the command because I don't I I sorry I already have this this on my etsy system ctl.conf so I'm not gonna going to run again but I will leave this in the description for those who have who don't have this this command here this will basically it's important to know what it is right this will basically reserve about two and a half two and a half gigs of RAM reserve so you cannot use it for anything else it's important to note that it will basically reserve two and a half gigs of of RAM uh, for huge pages that are going to be used in a miner so let's see uh, and the thing is I recommend you that's what I was saying earlier about the net on the same way I recommend you to leave net net uh, slash slash net equals host on the XM rig 
because of one thing Monero uh, Monero D it's, a, it's a, a program you can say that it's a container that uses <coughs> a lot of RAM and uh, for the huge pages to be working perfectly you will need um, a lot of available RAM so you need I recommend you you don't need to do this but I do it I do it normally is that I run XMRIG first then I run Monero D and only after that do I run p 2 pool now you need to the network needs to be on host because if the network here is the container Monero D and I'm, I'm starting XMRI before Monero D you can see the problem there is no uh, it's going to give you an error that there is no container excuse me called uh, Monero D and we'll output an error and uh, I'm giving you the warning so you can't uh, it's easier for you to figure it out all by yourself so um, now I'm done with this so I'm gonna give you the logs my logs for Monero D so as you can see it's still syncing that's why here I showed you cat pitapool I showed you here the host it's an external host not my host not uh, 127.0.0.1 because I'm not using my node I'm using an external node because mine is still syncing and it takes fucking ages man so let's move on to Peter Pooh uh, if it all goes well you should be um, <coughs> excuse me you should be seeing something along these lines uh, and out the output is constant uh, send new job to one I only have one client running so one slash one client and this should be the output from the um, the XMRI container um, a new job accepted from this is the the address of the machine in this guy's local host uh, 3333 it's the port that is uh, that uh, p2 pool is running on uh, and here's the hash rate that is currently running on my machine um, I'm, I wanna show you I'm gonna restart give me just pass it to, to my, my other screen so I can retrieve the password sorry about that um, so I'm gonna remove so you guys can see it better, better. this okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna start my XM ray and deploy my XMRI and as, as you can see I did that and you basically will see this um, also another thing if uh, if it gives you if after all that you gave the, the correct permissions the privilege tag all of that, the modules, all of that, if it still gives you MSR error it's possible it was giving me the same error after all the permissions were correct so it's possible you have to disable secure boot in your machine
for it to work correctly. Um, also, this is what I was talking about earlier. It's better for you to start XM Rig before any programs that take a lot of RAM uh, because it will reserve the RAM for itself and not use on other processes. So it's better to start uh, XM Rig before another process. Of course, if you want XM Rig, they have the priority. If not, just start whenever you want. So, that's basically it. I think 20 minutes of recording. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not the best tutorial I've seen. Maybe a little confusing. But if you have any doubts, you can leave it in the comments. I will try to help you. Uh, and that's it. Have have a good time, a good night, and uh, stay helping the network and decentralizing the economy. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. Hi again. This is me editing editing the video. Uh, and realizing I forgot to say something. Uh, I didn't exactly forgot to say it. I said it in the beginning of the video, but I didn't show any image. Uh, I said you need to open uh, some ports on your router. Uh, you don't need to exactly uh, open the ports, but it's it's advised by the, the people who created the software for better connectivity. Uh, so you have to open the, the port, uh, this port right here, these two ports here, they're both TCP, the protocol. Uh, this will differ from router to router, uh, mine is this way. Um, so that's it. This port, uh, as as I explained earlier, it's for the the Monero node to connect to the the network, and this is for the the P two P pool node to connect to its network. They're both different networks. Uh, so that's it. Thank you.